Mark Levine, Excel Bradshaw Management Group. Now, I wanted to do a quick tip, and I thought, what better way to start off a quick tip segment than house rules and how to enforce them and what not to do in house rules. So I see a lot of buildings, particularly ones that we are just taking over, where the house rules may not have been updated since 1985 when the uh, building initially went co-op. And uh, I've seen this happen where, I'll give you an example. Let's say somebody walks in, it's a, it's a pet-friendly building, but pets aren't allowed to walk into the front door. So the board says, fine them $50. And then an illegal sublet moves in, fine the unit owner or the shareholder $2,000. So I look at the house rules, it doesn't really uh, tell us exactly what the amounts are for which uh, infractions are gonna be broken, so what do I do? Uh, one thing that the board could do is rework those house rules. And the board usually, uh, I'd say 99% of the time, has the authority to actually amend those house rules so long as they're not stepping on the toes of the uh, corporate documents such as the proprietary lease or the bylaws. Um, you can do that on your own. And what I would suggest is redraft those house rules. And in the, in, in the house rules have different segments of uh, infractions and also different amounts for those infractions. So if somebody is moving out, uh, illegally, maybe it's a $500 uh, fine. If somebody's walking their dog illegally, maybe it's a $50 fine. And then you have graduated steps and it's laid out. So the first infraction is this much, the second infraction is this much, and maybe it leads down to eviction of shares. Um, you know, it could get as serious as that depending on what the infraction is. Uh, if you're disturbing the quiet enjoyment of everybody and it's on record and you have uh, noise levels uh, recorded and, and you could lock that down, that, that's certainly something that plays into that as well. So once the board actually redrafts those house rules and approves them at a board meeting, uh, my suggestion would be to either mail them out certified to every shareholder or unit owner, or you could hand deliver, have them sign that they uh, acknowledge receipt, and then once they've read it, you ask for a acknowledgement that they will abide by the house rules, they understand them, they've read them, they, they know everything that's in those house rules, they know what it's gonna cost them if they are in breach of those house rules. And what, what we do is we go a step further also for all incoming uh, sales applications and sublet applications and refis even and transfer applications, we have a copy of the house rules and we have an acknowledgement form and we're not gonna process those apps until the acknowledgement forms are signed. So we know any new shareholder, maybe any new unit owner or a sublet coming into the building, they're gonna be aware of everything. So I, I hope that's helpful. I hope that actually shines a little bit on what you should do with the house rules. Because if you don't have anything and it's uh, a little arbitrary, if you go to court, uh, the judge may say, well, this is an arbitrary amount. I see nowhere in your corporate documents that's gonna uh, you know, let, lead me to believe that uh, they should be charged $5,000 for this infraction, uh, case dismissed. So this is really in the benefit of all the unit owners, all the shareholders, and also the board themselves. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a description of this on our uh, video. Also, I'm gonna link it up on ebmg.com in a blog post. I'm gonna uh, put all my thoughts on there. If you want to uh, like us on Facebook, you can do so at facebook.com slash XL Bradshaw. If you'd like to follow us on Twitter, I always love tweeting, it's at XL Bradshaw. And you can send me an email. I love to hear from you guys. Happy to uh, make some of your comments, questions, or suggestions into uh, some of these videos that may be helpful to anybody that's on a board, potentially on a board. Maybe they're just buying into an apartment or in five years you're, you're renting now but you're thinking of moving up and uh, buying a, uh, uh, a one bedroom apartment in the city. So I love to hear from you. My email is mblevine at ebmg.com and uh, we hope to see you here again. Till next time.